next time. My first seven books were science fiction farces about a race of transsexual Venusians at war with their domestic pets. The publishers wanted it. In that light, I came out with my eighth book, a 980-page epic called The Miracle of Mucus. It topped the bestseller list for 18 months. The critics called it delicious. Then came my How to Take Advantage series. It changed the way people looked at the elderly and small children. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Currently, 10,000 teenagers addicted to crack stepping. Each year, 16,241.372 mothers break their backs. The following is an announcement you cannot afford to miss. It may be hard to believe, but I was once a crack stepper. It got me nowhere. I lost my job, my family, my friends. People used to warn me, but it was addicting. Each day I said I would quit. But each crack became even more irresistible. I found myself sneaking out late at night just to step on cracks. Don't think it's a joke. I crack my mother's back. Don't be a crack stepper. Crack stepping is a very real issue in today's society. Thousands of mothers break their backs each year. Hello, I'm Laura Faintuck, spokesperson for Max Mothers Against Crack Stepping. If you know somebody who is or is considering stepping on cracks, call Max. Remember, I'm not only a spokesperson, I'm also a victim. Sponsored by Mothers Against Crack Stepping. Don't be a crack stepper.
Daytime in Boston. People live their daily lives. Many go to their jobs while the children play carelessly in the parks enjoying the bright summer days. But are those days numbered? Throughout history, people have speculated on when the world will end. With the new millennium approaching, the question is frequently asked, will the world end today, tomorrow, or millions of years from now? And how? Total destruction? Nuclear war? Cataclysmic event? Our opinions are formed on such sources as the New Testament, scientific studies, and popular films such as Armageddon and Independence Day. We went through the streets of Boston and asked a wide variety of people what their thoughts were regarding the end of the world. That this city is headed for a disaster of biblical proportion. Well, what do you mean, biblical? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. nuclear bomb kind of thing, you know, somebody screws up and presses the button and uh, we all die. Well, uh, I'm not going to be alive to see it, so I really don't care. Uh, probably in some cataclysmic event, but, you know, I don't think there's any timetable to it. It's just people's sense of fatality. Uh, probably the subtle blow up. Well, it's, it's going to end by fire. When Jesus comes back, it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. he, he's, uh, according to the New Testament, he's going to appear any second. And he's going to destroy the whole world with fire suddenly. Good question. I really, th I kind of think it's sort of the, the meteorite theory, like the, like what destroyed the uh, dinosaurs and things and the, and, and the Armageddon plot. That's, that's my personal opinion. Well, I was thinking the other day about the end of the world. I've always believed that all the animals of the world are going to come together and just take all over the humans and enslave us. Uh -huh. That's what I think. And it has to do with energy, and pretty soon all the entropy is going to kind of disappear, and you know, all the energy is going to settle, and everything's pretty much going to stop. Uh -huh. I think that's what's going to happen, basically. We're going to keep poisoning ourselves and poisoning the world until women or men or whoever loses the ability to procreate, mm -hmm. and that's how it's going to happen. I might be looking at a, a nuclear war, too, uh, in the Middle East. Keep your eye on Jerusalem. That's going to be the big key, Jerusalem. <sighs> oh, let's say another a million years from now. I... Uh -huh. Year 2000. Um, what is that? November 13th, 1998. Soon? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. How soon? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. I know that, is, that that's the date because it's an omen. Like, think about it. 1998 is 666 three times. It's the, um, and November 13th is the third, Friday the 13th in 1998. No, it's not going to fucking happen soon. The world's been around longer than I have. It's coming when you least expect it. Right after they sign the peace treaties. Then the end is going to come suddenly. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking before the year 2000. Yeah, but I can't say it on TV. Oh, no, 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 don't worry about it. It's uncensored. What would I do at that time? Hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you want to know. I can't say that on camera. <laughs> don't ask me that. It's okay. I get arrested. <laughs> I would, and I'm not a recreational drug user. Uh -huh. I would go out and find as much speed and heroin and LSD as I possibly <laughs> could and and 
go out that way, I think. Yeah. Sounds like fun, you know? Uh -huh. Things you don't want to try normally because they're dangerous. Right. Go nuts. It's over in 24 hours. Right. Trip your head off. I, I smoke a lot of chronic, and I get with some hoes, and and that's about it. And I go play ball. And, I, and get Popeye's chicken. I think I'd take up drinking again. Uh -huh. uh, that sounds like an out. I never was big on drugs, but drinking I liked. Uh huh. I go to the Continental on Route One, have big stuff, lobster. Yes, I'd uh, i take a few shots and then a few more. <laughs> Get on my knees and ask Jesus Christ to forgive me of any sins I might have forgot to ask Him to forgive me that morning. Um, I'd either like take a bunch of sleeping pills and just kind of OD so I wouldn't have to like sit around and wait, or I might just. I don't know, hang out. I wouldn't get fucked up. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even do any drugs, and I like drugs. <laughs> but, uh, um, what would I do with that time if there were 24 hours left? I would probably get really, 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 really <laughs> retarded. I'd just get with my wife and go out and get laid all day and night, and that's it. I'd die happy. Uh, I'd probably head for the mountains. Head for the hills, baby. You know, because it's going to get hot. Um, Mexican food. Well, I cook in an Italian restaurant. That's what I'm good at. That's my strength. Lobster. Maybe, oh, I'd, yeah? maybe I'd cook us dinner, but I think it's kind of hard when you're tripping. Uh, I'd probably load up on, like, bad Chinese food, you know. Maybe lentil soup. Huh? I don't think I'd bother. That interferes with my drinking. Uh-huh. Uh, good question. I might even, if there was 24 hours ago, I might even fast. I don't know. Yeah, Cameron Diaz versus stupid acting in that dumb movie I just saw. <laughs> it sucked. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. You, you don't like Jerry? I can't stand him. Well, since I'm in Boston, uh, Dan Duquette of the Red Sox, we're trying to get rid of Mulvan. How's that? <laughs> can't think of anybody besides Fran Dreischer. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, President Clinton, maybe. Uh -huh. That would be about the only person. I'd like to select David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like him. I'd want to push Leonardo DiCaprio down a flight of stairs. Leonardo DiCaprio, I hate him. All right, someone said that already. He's yeah. a little punk. Uh -huh. I, he gets all these movie deals. He's, I hate him. Uh, Roger Clemens. Oh, well, I think probably Ken Starr had it coming, so if I was going to die, that's another thing I might take a shot at. Uh -huh. But uh, but that's a long way to travel, and I'd have to get a gun. What's those damn bill collectors? They're murder. You know? Uh -huh. They never let you go. But uh, other than that... Yeah? No, uh, but uh, yeah, the bill collectors. Uh-huh. Bill collectors, okay. <laughs> They're tough. They never quit. Bingo. Uh huh. It's all over. Is this you on Saturday night? Are you desperate? Really, really desperate? Then try 1-800-JAIL-LOVE, the only dating service that connects you with convicts set for release. And here are a couple of our sample convicts. The name's Weasel. The ladies call me Slick. I can spell, I can count, and I smell good too. The name's Wanda, and I'm looking for a man who knows how to treat a lady right. Here are two successful romances that spawned from 1-800-JAIL-LOVE. 
Ever since me and my Tiny have been together, all he's done is shower me with jewels and fancy dinners. I'm so satisfied with my convict. Thank you, 1-800-JAIL-LOVE. Six months ago, I couldn't even get a date. Then I called 1-800-JAIL-LOVE. Now I'm the happiest guy. Shut up, you loser. I love you, honey. Ugh, God. What's that number again? 1-800-JAIL-LOVE. Perfect for my needs. Doctor Ethan Allen won't catch me here because I've been innocent. I'm a girl and he won't. Ah, 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 oh, come back with my daughter! Come back! I'm going to hell! Oh, 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 Master Jan, I will never be as fast as you. Oh, tisk, tisk. It is okay, Fjorgen. You are only a stupid little Swedish boy, and you will never fully understand the ways of Kanto. Oh, someone's coming. What? Look, over there. What Help. is that? Help! Is he all right? Master Jan! Mm. Some sort of... Master Jan! Back. Help! Help me! How does he know my name? Oh, oh, Master Yan, Master Yan, I'm so happy to see you. They kidnapped my daughter, Ikea. Evil Ethan Allen has taken her away. You must help me. I cannot fight with the Kung Fu because I am too old. You must understand. I only teach now. I no longer fight. You know the way it must be. But I, I will save her. You will. Yes. Thank you, boy. What are you Thank talking you. about? You are too little. You do not understand the way of Kung Fu. No, he must help me. He is only my apprentice. He is not ready. He is not I ready. He is too short. I am sorry. Oh. I will go off tonight and save her without Master Jan. Oh, good idea. Saving my oh! What's wrong with you? I tell you not to come here. I tell you a million times. What are you thinking? Oh no, it's Ikea. <laughs> oh, I will save you. No way, I don't. What are you to come back here? I tell you again. <laughs> no! I have murdered your sidekick. I am now very, very happy. Don't you know that death will? Never bring life. I've destroyed everything you love. I will now continue my revenge. <laughs> no! I am your long-lost brother. Mother always loved me more. <laughs> what? Where'd he go? What, what the hell was that? 
I'll use my second power to detect where he is. There he is. I'll use my second power to get him to find out where he is. He's over there. I sense a great disturbance somewhere in this vicinity. There he is. You stupid. Now we will not fight on the holy grounds. Okay. Wax on, wax off. Trap in box. My practice. this happen? We're the good guys. <laughs> Things are supposed to turn out good for us in the movies. I don't know what to do. Uh, Everybody dead. I don't know. How can this happily happen? Something has to turn out. Something has to be Oh, look there. <gasps> hello. Hello, hello Mr. Papa. Young. Hello, Papa from the other side. They're uh, back. They were I dead, but so now happy. they're alive. We should kill ourselves, dead. too. Okay. Oh. 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 Feels so lightheaded. Afterlife. Mmm, very good. There they are! Oh, 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 oh yes, oh, yes, 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 Get the hell out of here.